Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the Polymer Project video tutorial. Today, we're gonna talk about the Pepper Dash Spinner element in Polymer Project. So, let's do that. Uh, it's a very simple element, okay? I don't think uh, I should elaborate more in it, okay? Uh, in which you have uh, two attributes. One is for active, one and one is alt, okay? Active, that means it will uh, spinning just like a loader and the alt is uh, alternative string uh, whatever you want if you do not want to use uh, the image it will use the text just like a loading okay uh, here is a demo which I have created uh, it's a simple different color different types of colors uh, and uh, simple loaders if I click on the toggle it will automatically stop deactivated and if I clicked on a if I clicked on a uh, toggle button, it will automatically start. Okay, uh, let's <coughs> see the code for that. As usual, you have to import some files. One is for your JS, then second is the spinner dash, sorry, pepper dash spinner. And uh, here are some uh, useful different, different colors for your spinner. And uh, it's very simple. Just assign a class to your element, paper dash spinner. And here is some scripts which I have uh, written for uh, toggling the uh, toggling the loader on and off. Okay, it's very simple. Uh, first of all, uh, on a click event, add listener. Uh, we have uh, get all uh, the paper element buttons. Okay, that means it will. <coughs> get one two three four five five uh, spinners in this object and after that uh, we are using a add a prototype for each spinners in spinner okay and we are assigning uh, the active property to false okay if the active, st uh, active property is true it will assign to false and if it's false it will assign it to true okay because we have assigned a not in front of the active method uh, to property that's why it will automatically uh, stop when I click on the toggle button and if I again click on this button it will automatically start spinning okay I hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial thanks for watching we'll uh, see in the next uh, tutorial very soon thanks bye bye